Hello, I'm Carol Vorderman, and this is Perfect 10, your daily brain workout to help you mentally hit the ground running every single day. We've got puzzles and brain teasers that will educate, entertain, and irritate the hell out of you. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in just 10 minutes. Each day, I'll have 10 baffling and amusing questions to get your sign up sweating. So make sure you subscribe, you follow, and you like to get the next episode as soon as it drops. If you spend a few minutes with us every single day, I guarantee you will feel smarter and be a whole lot sharper. Don't forget to head on over to at Perfect and Carol on social media for even more quizzy fun with exclusive content and bonus questions dropping every single day. So join me and the rest of the Perfect 10 family over on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. You know what we say, there's always room for one more. First things first, at the end of yesterday's show, I asked you, which pop diva is an anagram of hairy camera? And the answer is Mariah Carey. I'm sure she liked that anagram, but there is the answer. No points for that, though. That was just a bit of homework to keep your mind ticking over between shows. But now let's get that mind moving and start today's Perfect 10. Question one, your starter for a Perfect 10. How many balls are there on the table at the start of a game of pool? Hopefully that will get you a point on your scorecard straight away. Don't forget to let me know how you do. I love, we all love actually, seeing your scores. Question two is the audio mystery that we call hearsay. So which well-known phrase or saying is hidden in these sonic sounds? Hey, you cats and kittens. I'm a long green skin fruit. Vickers have me in sandwiches. Maybe you could even pickle me. Check me out. Nice. Say what you hear and you can't go far wrong. Sounds like a chill dude. Hmm. Answers, as always, after the final question. Question three is Carol lateral thinking, and it's another maths riddle. In your pocket, you only have notes and two pound coins. You have to pay somebody £63 in cash. So what is the fewest number of notes and coins you have to hand over in order to do it? With all of my carolateral thinking questions, you might need a bit of extra working out time. So feel free to pause, grab a pen and paper if you're listening at home or in the office and see if you can figure it out. Time to put your memory to the test next, so open your ears, listen closely to all the details in this clip because I'll have a question for you at the end of it. Okay, agent, listen closely. Your mission to infiltrate the laboratory in Mali will require some specialised tools. This watch, for instance, when the alarm is set for exactly 11 minutes past 11, will fry all electronics within a 10 metre radius. This tie comes with a miniature tank of compressed air, enough to give you 15 minutes of air underwater. And this pen, when clicked three times in quick succession, will release sleeping gas, enough to incapacitate a dozen guards within five seconds. Good luck, Agent. I love that one. I know I've said it before on this show, but I think I'll make a great cue in the next James Bond film. <laughs> she said very immodestly. If you would agree with me, please do say so on social media. Anyway, I hope you were listening there because here comes your question four. How many times does the pen need to be clicked in order to release the sleeping gas? It was all in the clip. But can you recall the information you need? As always, I'll give you the answers after today's final question. Questions five, six and seven are all part of the same family, the frivolous, familiar and fun set of 3F questions, testing your knowledge of the everyday. So have you been paying attention? Let's find out, shall we? Here's your question five. Roger the Dodger and Billy Whiz are characters from which British comic? Does it sound familiar? If so, there's a point in it for you. Moving on to question six. In Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, is Juliet a Capulet or a Montague? Question seven, and it's a Hollywood classic. Who directed Raiders of the Lost Ark? You'll need your word head on for this, as it's the round that we call one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word pump, P-U-M-P, to make a famous sports brand? 
Don't forget, you can pause the show, cogitate and ruminate. You can do this and score a perfect 10. Okay, we call question nine. I know, I know this, as it's a question that can always be solved with a bit of logic. What do you call the wife of a baron? And here we are at question 10. The final question of the day, as always, it's our daily riddle. Tomorrow's yesterday is yesterday's tomorrow. What is it? What's the answer to that? And there you have it, another perfect 10. Well done, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's questions. And if you want to entertain, educate and irritate me, please send me your puzzles to at perfect 10 Carol. We love hearing from you. We really do. And receiving all of your videos and pictures. We've got loads of those. So please get in touch and we'll post all of our favourites on our socials. 10 questions, 10 points, 10 minutes. But did you score a perfect 10 today? Here's where you find out. Good luck. Here come the answers. Question one. I started with this. How many balls are there on the table at the start of a game of pool? And the answer is there are 16 balls at the start of a game of pool. 15 plus the cue ball. Question two was hearsay. I asked you what phrase was hidden in these sounds. Hey, you cats and kittens. I'm a long green skin fruit. Vickers have me in sandwiches. Maybe you could even pickle me. Well, he was playing it cool. How cool? It was cool as a cucumber. Congratulations if you got that one right. Question three was a money question. In your pocket, you only have notes and two pound coins. You have to pay somebody £63 in cash. So what is the fewest number of notes and coins you have to hand over in order to do it? Did you get there eventually? The answer is six. That's one £50 note, one £5 note and four £2 coins. Question four was our memory question where we heard a spy being briefed on their gadgets. Here was the question. How many times does the pen need to be clicked in order to release the sleeping gas? Did you remember the answer was three times? Brilliant, if you got that right. Into our run of three frivolous, familiar and fun questions now. Question five was, Roger the Dodger and Billy Wiz are characters from which comic? And the answer is the Beano. Question six. In Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, is Juliet a Capulet or Montague? And the answer is Juliet is a Capulet. Well done if you managed to pull that back from the depths of your school day memories. Question seven. Who directed Raiders of the Lost Ark? The answer is Steven Spielberg. Harrison Ford is truly iconic as Indy, but he wasn't the first pick for the whip-cracking hero. Oh no. The original Indiana Jones was none other than Tom Selleck, Magnum, who had to pull out due to scheduling conflicts, making way for the Indy we know and of course love today. Question eight was one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word pump to make a famous sports brand? Well, you change the second letter P for a letter A to get the word Puma, P-U-M-A. Question nine was, I know I know this, but did you? What do you call the wife of a baron? Well, simple really, it's baroness. Although if we're being extra formal, we might also say lady bombast. And finally, question 10. Tomorrow's yesterday's yesterday's tomorrow. What is it? The answer is, it is today. How did you do? Did you score a perfect 10? If not, don't worry. There's always another chance tomorrow. Every day spent with the perfect 10 family is a day that you've given your mind a good old workout. And maybe you've learned something, even if it is just the fact that we could have had a mustachioed Indiana Jones. Anyway, let us know how you did. Send us your scores. We love seeing how everyone is doing. Come and be part of our family by following us on at Perfect 10 Carol on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. We've got lots of daily content over there to keep your brain ticking over between episodes. Join us, please. We're a lovely bunch, honestly. I promise. I'll be back tomorrow with 10 more questions. But before I say goodbye, I'll leave you with today's anagram. Which British comedy actor is an anagram of Gnome Pigs? G-N-O-M-E, Gnome Pigs, P-I-G-S. 
Find out tomorrow when it's a whole new day of questions, riddles, and puzzles. I'm Carol Vorderman, and that was my perfect 10. I hope you have a perfect day. Perfect day.